So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem distribute candies in a binary tree. So let's read the problem statement out. So we are given a binary tree with n nodes in which each node value represents number of candies present at that node. In one move one may choose two adjacent nodes and move only one candy from one node to another. The move may be from parent to child or from child to parent. Okay. The task is to find the number of moves required such that every node has exactly one candy. Note that the test case is a frame such that it is always possible to achieve a configuration in which every node has exactly one candy. So basically, what we need to do, we need to find the minimum number of moves such that every node is having exactly one candy and the moves should be such that we can move one candy from parent to child or from child to parent. So let's understand this problem in more detail so basically in the first test case basically it is our tree is like this so what we will do we will move one candy from the parent to the child node okay and one candy from the parent to the right child so our tree will look something like this in the end so it will be having one candy and the left and the right child will be having one candies so we will be taking total two moves in order to solve this problem okay now similarly here what we can do we can move two candies in two moves to the root so it will be containing two and it will be containing one now we can move one candy from here to here so our total number of moves will be nothing but two plus one which is equal to three right now one we can easily solve this problem using recursion generally in tree problems what we do basically we think of something from the left child and the right child and do our operation at the root level so let's say this is our tree okay and if we know what are the possible values for the left and the right child we can do the operation for this right similarly if we know what is the value for the left child for this node and the right child for this node we can do the operation for this so basically one thing you can observe that let's say if the root child has two nodes or the left child has two nodes and it is having zero nodes okay so how many number of nodes it will be requiring it will be requiring one node from this right so for that what we can do we can have a recursive method let's say solve and for that we will be requiring the root of the tree and let's say the number of moves that we will be doing in order to get our answer so the base condition is if we are having nothing so if root is null so if our root is null we can simply return a zero right now what we will do we will call the recursion for the left tree so our left answer is going to be nothing but solve root arrow left and moves similarly our answer for the right child can be called using recursion solve root arrow right and moves now the main thing is that what to do here okay so let's say if you are at some tree and it is having three nodes okay and let's say it is having zero and it is having zero okay so what will be the number of moves so basically since our left answer in this case is going to be zero our right answer is going to be zero so we will be requiring three basically we want to distribute one candy here and one candy here right so for that we can get that using let's say it returns me a value 0 and it returns me a value again 0 and whatever be the root value here which is 3 minus since it also requires one candy at the end so our tree in this case at the end will look something like this after the distribution right so minus one by minus one because it also requires one candy at the end okay so we can generalize this if you observe this pattern for other trees as well let's say 
we are having zero nodes here and we are having three nodes here we are having zero nodes here so for our left tree it is going to be three for our right tree it is going to be zero for this it is again zero and we will be doing minus one okay so this is going to be nothing but two so this is what we will be returning from this method right but now how many moves we will be taking that will be nothing but whatever be the left answer plus right answer that we will be adding to our moves so moves will be equal to nothing but left answer plus right answer and we need to take absolute value for this because it might happen that the left answer is going to be negative in the case where we need to uh, like transfer the nodes or the data from the child node to the root node okay so this is how you can solve this problem and you can dry run this on some of the test cases in order to get your answer for example you can try this on this okay so let's say our left answer in this case is going to be like let's say let's apply this formula for this so our left answer is going to be zero for this right answer is also going to be zero so left answer plus right answer plus three minus one our left child is going to be two right for this we will be having zero we will be having zero again so zero plus zero and for this it is again zero minus one so it is going to be minus one now we need to take the absolute value for both of them so absolute value of 2 is 2 and for minus 1 it is going to be 1. So in this case we will be requiring 3 moves. So our moves will be added up with left answer plus right answer. Right. And we can call the recursion further for the child nodes. So I hope you have understood the problem. Let's see the code. So first of all we have taken a variable moves which is equal to 0 and we have called the recursive method solve and it accepts two parameter root and moves and finally when moves are calculated we simply return that move so let's see this solve function so it accepts a uh, root and moves is passed as a reference now if my root is going to be null we simply need to return zero because we don't need to do any operation now we will call the recursion for the left subtree and we will call the recursion for the right subtree now as discussed our moves will be equal to nothing but absolute value of left answer plus absolute value of right answer as discussed in the previous example. So here our moves was nothing but like from the left tree we got 2 and from the right tree we got minus 1. So our moves was nothing but 3. Okay. So what we need to return here basically whatever be the value from the left subtree and the right subtree plus the data present at that node minus one because that node and like should have at least one into it so that's why we are returning this so i hope you have understood the problem in case if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video and share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching